Pontiac, a city beset by hard times, like something out of a Charles Dickens novel, has seen its share of ups and downs, broken promises made by politicians, and economic deterioration throughout these last decades. It is a city that has experienced similar themes that other more famous Michigan municipalities like Detroit and Flint have. Here, they've also seen a thriving resident manufacturing industry abandon it for greener pastures. Now though, Pontiac and its city leadership are trying to reinvent the city and evolve it into a haven for young minds and fresh ideas to be welcomed into with open arms. The pastures may be getting greener here now, quite literally. Earlier this year, Pontiac voters approved 20 marijuana dispensaries and an unlimited amount of facilities and processors to open in the city. Pot may be the way of the future, and Mayor Deidre Waterman and local business leader and head shop owner Shelby Berger see Pot as a new avenue that could help the city tremendously. We're here in downtown Pontiac with Shelby. He's the CEO here at Mainstream Pawn Shop. They've been here for over 50 years. Shelby, tell us, uh, tell us how long you've been down here. So. And... Uh... Uh, 15 years ago when I graduated Michigan State, I decided to join the family business. So I've been down here on the ground floor for 15 years. Like you said, the family has been in uh, Pontiac doing this for uh, about 50 years. So, you know, we're a staple down here. You know, uh, generations have used the pawn shop service. I meet grandparents and grandchildren that yeah. have come in here and I've grown up, you know, with these people as well. And it's great. So uh, it's been a great, Pontiac's been great to us, especially downtown's been great to us. And uh, now that they got a few new industries trying to move in here, it's, it's getting exciting. People are trying to uh, come down here more, feel us out a little bit more, determine if it's where they want to set up like we did. And mm -hmm. uh, I think cannabis is that industry that's really going to take us uh, to the next level. Have you noticed any changes downtown, the people coming in, developers? Um, I would say it's the green rush of 2018, absolutely. Right. People, different groups are coming down here all, all the time. Yeah. They're trying to lock up buildings. They're trying to, uh, you know, get themselves uh, ready for when and if the, the city decides to uh, allow zoning, especially downtown, where I feel uh, the downtown area would benefit hands down the most. Can you talk a little bit about, you know, some of the people coming downtown and trying to, you know, create this, like, little haven of, of you know, commerce in the city? Like well, that's very important to us because one of the ways we knew we had to restore Pontiac's vitality uh, in a city that had had a lot of its major assets sold off, mm -hmm. and a city which after the downturn of the auto industry and the downfall of the economy in 2007, 2008, that this city is now working on half the revenue that we had during the days when we had uh, major car support for here. So we realized, number one, we had to diversify our economy so that we weren't dependent on just one industry. But we realized that we have to ex extend our economy to other sectors, and we had to make Pontiac known as a place that was attractive to various other aspects of the industry. And we see now the fruits of all the policies that have led to that. The empty streets are a sign that the city has a long way to go before it can talk about a real comeback. City Council has approved the maximum amount of marijuana facilities for Pontiac. It's now working on an ordinance to allow things to move forward. And so we wanted to do it in a way that was thoughtful, that was considerate, but most importantly to me was also to take into full consideration what the citizens of this uh, city wanted, uh, what the citizens wanted and what the businesses wanted. Those are the people who are here who have made a stake in this community. Uh, and I also wanted to make sure that we did everything we could to make sure that our citizens and our businesses had a chance to reap mm -hmm. the benefits of this industry to the extent that it was possible. What's the opinions of the locals around here? I mean, are they, are they pro-cannabis? Are they anti, are there, there's you know, cause for concern among some of them? You know, uh, the city of Pontiac is a big, a big church going city. And the, not only that, but they don't want it in the neighborhoods. Yeah. No one wants it in the neighborhoods. They think they have enough things going on with uh, liquor stores, bars, that, that. They want to keep the cannabis out of the neighborhoods. But besides that, I feel like the opinions of the people are definitely pro-cannabis as the voting uh, showed uh, more people are, are all about and out. They don't want to travel to Detroit. They want to stay close to home. They know the financial impact it could help with the city. Our roads aren't great, you know, yeah, yeah. it could help our roads. Our schools problem. need help, yeah. you know. I mean, I feel like there could be uh, money available for all that. And I feel those people who are negative are now positive because they do see, uh, no pun intended, the grass is greener, you know, yeah. with <laughs> cannabis involved. Although many see marijuana as the key to Pontiac's comeback, there are other signs of hope. We're happy that we have a lot of headline maker uh, industries coming back to the city uh, with uh, Peter Carmanos, yeah. who led the uh, emerging tech hub uh, industry uh, coming to the city of Pontiac uh, by bringing in five of his businesses, um, the uh, Linderful group of businesses. Uh, that was a catalyst, and now we see a number of others 
are coming in as startups or as established high-tech businesses that are located, um, a lot of them right in our downtown. Yeah. So we're happy to welcome them all, and I could name a handful of them uh, each week that are coming in. So this is a uh, industry that is emerging in Pontiac, and we're getting to be known as a tech hub, I'm very yeah. happy to say. It's unclear how marijuana dispensaries will ultimately affect Pontiac, but the voters are hopeful. Time will tell if this was the right move for the city.